we are always striving for something new. Whatever you do isn't set in stone. I enjoy being a part of a community. Seeing the young lads gain in confidence, gain in self-esteem, that's the best part of the job for me. I'm head of centre, so I look after all the courses, dance and musical theatre. I also help run the business and I teach. Without the community, we wouldn't be here. So it's our job to make sure that all our professional students and all our people who are coming here just to take classes feel as important as they should do when they walk through the door. I think within the performing arts there is this kind of desire to make sure that everybody's lives are enriched and I think that's what we're doing here. I wanted to share my knowledge and my experience with youngsters and full-time students that were wanting to go into the industry so I started teaching. I feel that the people that we work with have as many opportunities if not a lot more opportunities than people that would normally train in the Central Belt or, or down in London. Me, I just enjoy helping people. That's the most benefiting factor for me. I enjoy Coming in, I get to work with somebody one-to-one -one or a group of people and I'm getting to help them achieve a goal that they're wanting to achieve. And that's the main thing for me is it's, it's a big benefit to other people realising what getting active can do for you. Watching the development in the kids when you start teaching a combination and you can see that they're applying themselves and they're, they're learning, the, the kind of joy on their faces of, of how they're applying themselves and learning stuff, it's, it's always rewarding. My roots are actually here. I did three years uh, on the performing course and then I did a year to get my teaching degree. I've come home to kind of spend some more time with my family. I got back in touch with Tish and Diane and before we knew it, I was back in the door and in the studios and uh, yeah, full circle. My name is Chris Saunderson. I'm the group editor of the Bamshire Advertiser. I would recommend local newspaper journalism because it will give people a good grounding in the basics of journalism, getting to know their community, how to interact with people, and from there you can decide where you want to go with a journalistic career, but it's, it's a good grounding. Online, social media, everybody essentially can be a journalist or can post news. So the challenge is, how do we maintain the number of papers we're selling, but is there other ways we can deliver the news? My name is Heather Green and my job is Sales Administrator. You never know what's going to come through the door or what kind of advert it's going to be or what kind of problems are going to be. It's different all the time. So I would encourage young people to think about a career in advertising because it is an important job. A lot of big companies do advertise because they've got to get their product out there. So it is a good thing for young people to get into, I think. When I was younger, I just took photos of everything and anything that I could. I thought I'd take my career forward in my hobby, which was photography, um, and that way I've got a job. Every day is different, so you're always learning something. You're, I'm always learning new techniques or how to do stuff better. You're not stuck in an office all day, so you're out and about, meeting new people, seeing new things, seeing new places. We're a social enterprise and a registered charity. We're here to make sure that all of these computer systems are dealt with in the proper manner and we're here to support the community. So we do our environmental bit, which is making sure that it's recycled properly. We do our people bit by supporting people, long-term unemployed people with supported needs and various other backgrounds, including schools. The best part of my job and the most interesting part is that every day is different. It's not like a job that you're stuck in an office and you're doing the same job over and over again. I used to be a chef before I came here. I just had enough of the catering lifestyle and decided for a complete change, as you can see from being a chef to coming here. Every day is a school day and reboot. I like it when there's a problem with a PC, you're trying to figure out how to fix it for a customer. and that feeling when you get it and you fix it and you solve the problem, that's the best thing. Especially when you get to see the customer's reaction at the end. The most challenging is 
when I'm actually having to do something brand new that's outside of my normal skill set. I fix computers, that's where I'm comfortable with. But things like applying for funding or speaking to people for the first time, that can be challenging. But I like a challenge, so I'm quite happy going out and doing those sorts of things and just expanding my skill set. I'm Louisa Galley and I'm the senior 2D artist at Hunted Cow. My favourite thing about game art is that it's functional. It's not just about having an idea or drawing something pretty. You can have a cool idea but then you have to break it apart and open it up and think about how it's going to work in different situations. You've got all these restrictions but also opportunities with game art and every single aspect of it feels like a puzzle to solve. What I really like about the job is actually jumping between 2D, 3D, there's never a dull moment. I find that if I was working on one thing, it'd be kind of maybe get a bit tiresome over time, but it keeps things fresh, jumping between each of the projects. University or college or any kind of course you would go on, you can actually get good marks by not doing as much as you probably should. The, the more you do, although the grade may not be much higher, the amount of experience and at the end of it the portfolio you have will be a lot more full and it's really that that gets you the job. My name is Samantha Davidson and my job here at Hunted Cow is mostly front-end UI programming. A lot of what I do you can't really see because it's, it's functionality and it's connecting things together. Like you see the art and you say, oh, that's really beautiful art, but you don't really notice my job unless it goes wrong. And I quite like being in the background and people like enjoying something and it's like, you don't even know that I'm there. I'm actually not very good at mathematics. If I let the maths get in the way of that, then I wouldn't be doing the job that I'm doing. You push through the tricky stuff to get to the kernel of what's really good about it. My name is Filippo Santorelli and I'm a Unity programmer at Hunted Cow. I enjoy making systems that work in the end and figuring out how to approach different problems. I've usually lived in big cities or they're always busy and coming here it's a lot more relaxed, a lot more calm and the scenery is here very beautiful. I would say to any woman who's thinking about joining the industry is don't be put off by the idea that it's male dominated. You may have to fight a bit harder and be a bit more patient. It's not fair, but if you want to be in the industry, the only way it's going to change is if you are in it, changing it.